Yes, yes, what's going on? Today I want to talk about life and the development of life and the development of relationships and how both concepts coincide to formulate something beautiful. So, I want you to think of being born into a world, crying, alone, not knowing what's coming next. So you're crying to, you know, take your first breath. You realize, you know, you entered the world and you're crying because you want your parents to know you're alive. Once your parents hold you, you feel that connection, that first heartbeat next to yours, and the crying subsides, and you get into a, a very warm and comforting place in your life. Picture walking through life alone, with that yearning, you're not physically crying, but your soul is crying to connect with somebody, and run into somebody that makes your world change. That first embrace, that first time spent. It's like that warm hug you got from your mother or your father, that parent that comforted you from crying. You feel a heartbeat. That's togetherness, it's the start. Then you become a toddler. Yeah. Rebellious, kicking and screaming, just wanting to have fun, just wanting to enjoy the moment. Not really looking at the future, not really paying attention to what the future has to hold. You're doing the same in our relationships. We're at a toddler stage, we're enjoying each other's company. We don't really want to have, you know, our discussions are not too deep. We're just, you know, trying to have so much fun, rebelling against the inevitable of planning, the inevitability, excuse me, of planning. So then, you know, you start getting into your five and four, five and six, where you're trying to now really understand the world, so you're asking a bunch of whys, when, how, what. You're doing the same here relationship. You get to a point like, where are we going? How are we going to coexist? Why are we together? What is keeping us together? And you start asking each other questions that actually make you think about the longevity of a relationship, how long-term a relationship is. And you start to now really see if this person is really compatible with you. Are they in it with you for the long haul? Are they trying to maintain a healthy relationship? Fast forward, you become a teenager. And you're rebelling. You're trying to figure out your own. Trying to understand your own. You just want to be left alone. You want to hang out with your friends. You want to offset responsibility. You're really just trying to come into your own. That's what happens in a relationship after a couple of years. We start saying, where am I? Did I lose myself? Where am I? Do I exist in this other person's body? Am I me? Am I still myself? And you start really focusing on you and building you and really figuring out did you lose you? That's what you start doing. And then, over time, you sit down and you're like really figuring out who you are. So you distance yourself from the relationship. You move from that relationship. You move further from the relationship, further from the person. You might break up. 
you might explore a few things, a few options. You might not explore anything, you might just go and try to have some self adventures and maybe build a, a company. Maybe do something that you know you feel that you need to do for yourself. All the while, something is missing. You can never quite grasp what's missing. And then you remember that feeling of that person's heart next to yours. And you realizing you don't really need to be your own person because you're strong as a team, you're stronger together. Welcome to adulthood. You start realizing that you're building relationships and you start realizing that you're coming into responsibility. You start realizing that responsibility is not the worst thing. It's what allows us to build our legacy. It's, allowed, it's what allows us to build our house. It's what allows us to build our home. So you start investing in life and start investing in building relationships. And start investing in planning and prioritizing. And you start seeing responsibility as goals and inspiration and your motivation to live. Same in a relationship. You start to realize you missed the person. You start to realize that you were stronger with the person. You start to realize you had a team that you was building. And losing track of you wasn't the issue. What was the issue is you was too focused on you and not focused on us. Not focused on the relationship, not focused on the we. So then you start to wonder what was this person doing with their lives. And you reach out. And you realize that they still have that same yearning for you. So you try to rebuild the relationship. I mean, this is what life's about. But in our relationships, we shouldn't have to develop into the toddler and teen years if we start just focusing on the planning and start focusing on the fact that we are building relationships with our friends we are building a whole life with our partner and we even having children that now are our responsibility to mold into accountable adults we need to start looking at planning when we're single going into these relationships with friends and spouses and when we're having children we need to start looking at more as being the strength and not one as being the strength. We need to stop buying into the fact that being your own person means you can't connect with other people to make something stronger than yourself. We got to understand when we enter relationships, we ready to actually commit to something stronger than ourselves. So will we lose ourselves? Will we lose a portion of ourselves? I would say no. I say we gain a portion. We gain purpose. We gain responsibility. We gain love. So just think about this. Life is like the developmental stages. A relationship is like the developmental stages of life. And we're better for it if we stay focused on the prize and actually build these relationships off of planning, prioritizing, and being responsible. And understanding that being accountable in love is showing up with the enthusiasm you had in the beginning of the relationship and understanding that we're building something special. Focus on the destination, acquire the destination, reside in the destination. This has been another message on the move. Hope you enjoyed it. Think about it.